Chapter 1, Lesson 4, Proportional and Non-Proportional Relationships. Today you will be able to identify proportional and non-proportional relationships. Two quantities are proportional if they have a constant ratio or unit rate. For relationships in which the ratio is not constant, the two quantities are non-proportional. Letter A. Andrew earns $18 per hour for mowing lawns. Is the amount of money he earns proportional to the number of hours he spends mowing? Explain. So here we're seeing if the money is proportional to hours, which tells me that money goes on top. So $18 for one hour, that equals $18 an hour. $36 for two hours equals $18 an hour. And I'm going to suggest that you use a calculator for this lesson. $54 for three hours. When you divide 54 divided by three, you get again $18 per hour. And lastly, $72 for four hours divide and get 18. Because it has a constant unit rate, it is proportional. So, it's proportional because it has a constant unit rate. Letter B. At Lakeview Middle School, there are two homeroom teachers assigned to every 48 students. Is the number of students at this school proportional to the number of teachers? Explain. So let's do one, two, three, and four teachers. We know that if there are two teachers, there are 48 students, which means if there's one teacher, there's 24 students. Okay. So the pattern here would be to add 24. So if we add 24, this would be 72. If we add 24 more, it would be 96. So let's see if it's proportional. We are seeing if the students are proportional to teachers. So students is the numerator. 24 divided by 1 is 24. 48 divided by 2 is 24. 72 divided by 3 is 24. And 96 divided by 4 is also 24. And you can use a calculator for these calculations. So I receive the same unit rate. Therefore, it's proportional because it has a constant unit rate. Letter C. Uptown Tickets charges $7 per baseball game ticket plus a $3 processing fee per order. Is the cost of an order proportional to the number of tickets ordered? So the cost of an order to the number of tickets. So the cost. So cost goes on top. $10 for one ticket is $10. $17 for two tickets. When you divide that out, you would get 8.5, which is not equal. I don't have to go any further because I already know that this is non-proportional because it 
does not have a constant uh, unit rate. Letter D. You can use the recipe shown to make a fruit punch. Is the amount of sugar used proportional to the amount of mix used? So sugar to mix, one half to one. We have here is a complex number. So this is the same as one half divided by one over one, which is the same as one half times the reciprocal, which is one over one, which equals one half. The next one is simply one half, so we can keep going. We'll do this next one down here. And what you should do with your mixed numbers is change them to improper. One and one half is the same as three halves. So we have three halves over three, which is the same as three halves divided by three over one. I will not divide. I will multiply by the reciprocal. So this equals three over six, which reduces to one half. So far so good. Last one. Two over four reduces to one half. I did get one half for all four of them. Therefore, this is proportional because it has a constant unit rate. Letter E. At the beginning of the year, Isabel had $120 in the bank. So I'm going to write that in. Each week, she deposits another $20. So the next week, if she deposited 20 more, she would have 140 and 20 more would be 160. Is her account balance proportional to the number of weeks of deposits? Use the table below, explain your reasoning. So balance to weeks, so this time balance is our numerator. So 120 over 1 divided out equals 120. The next one, 140 over 2 divided out equals 70. Right here, they're not equal. Therefore, I know that this is non-proportional. Because it does not have... a constant unit rate. Letter F. The tables shown represent the number of pages Martin and Gabriel read over time. Which situation represents a proportional relationship between the time spent reading and the number of pages read? So time and number. Here we have 5 over 2, which I'm just going to leave as a, an improper fraction. This one is 4 over 10, which reduces to 5 over 2. And then we have, oops, I did this one wrong. This one is actually 10 over 4 which reduces to 5 over 2. Then I have 15 over 6, which reduces also to 5 over 2. Now let's take a look at Gabriel's. 5 over 3 is the first ratio. 10 over 4, which reduces to 5 over 2, is the second ratio. And I can stop because these numbers are not equal. However, these unit rates are equal. 
So the question is, which situation represents the proportional relationship? I would say Martin, because he reads at a constant rate. 